Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will be using normally open contacts, normally closed contacts and set and reset coils. So let's start. Example 10. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be still on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be off. So for switch 1 and switch 2, we use normally open contacts. And for motors, we will use set and reset coils. So when switch 1 is turned on, motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And when it is turned off, then motor 1 and motor 2 remains on. And then to turn them off, we are using switch 2. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example and also do the simulation. So this is the interface of TI portal. So I will go to PLC tags first and then default tag table. So we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have two switches. So I will write switch one and then I will click on this and drag it to here. So switch 2 gets automatically fast. And then we have some motors. Motor 1 and motor 2. So I will write motor 1 and then I will change the address to Q0.0. Because it is an output, so it will start with Q0.0. .0. Then we have another motor. I will drag it to here. And motor 2 gets auto automatically fast. So I will minimize this. And then I will go to program block. And then main OB. So I will insert a normally open contact for switch 1. I will select switch 1 from this drop down list. Sorry, switch 1. And then I will use some coils for motor 1 and motor 2. I will insert a coil. Then here I will open the branch. Then one more coil. So this will be motor 1 and motor 2. Before that I will change this coil to set coil. So these will be set coils. Then I will assign address to it as motor 1 that is Q0.0. Then we have motor 2 that is Q0.1. So in this case what happens is that when switch 1 is turned on motor 1 and motor 2 gets on. And then when switch 1 is turned off motor 1 and motor 2 still remains on. Because we have used set coils here. So to turn off the motor 1 and motor 2, we will use reset coils and we will use switch 2. So for that, I will use network 2 and insert a normally open contact and then a coil and then I will open the branch and then one more coil. So here, this will be switch 2 to turn off motor 1 and motor 2. This will be motor 1 and then it will be motor 2. But for here, for motor 1 and motor 2, we will use these as reset coils. We will use this as reset coil. So, when switch 2 is turned on, motor 1 and motor 2 get reset. That is, it will turn to be off. So, switch 1 is used to turn on motor 1 and when it is turned off, these motors remain still on. But switch 2 is turned on, then these motors will turn off and then when we will turn off switch 2, it will remain off. So this will set the motors on and it will reset to off. So now let's start the simulation here. Click on OK and then wait. Click on load and then finish.
After that, I will start CPU. Okay. And then this option of monitoring on and off. And then I will switch to project view. And here I will create a new project. And then I will click on this option. I will click on this option, then simulation table and simulation table one. And then I will right click here and then load project tags. So all the tags are being fetched here and then we can do the simulation. So when I turn on switch one, as you can see motor one and motor two gets on. And then when I turn it off switch one, when I turn off switch one, motor one and motor two are still on. As you can see here the green color or you can see also here that motor one is true and also motor two is also true. And then when I turn on switch to these motors become false. It gets turned off and turned off because of the reset coils we have used here. So switch to will uh, when switch to pressed or turned on the current will flow through it and it will reset motor one and motor two. As a result, motor one and motor two becomes off. As you can see here, motor 1 and motor 2 is false and when you uh, turn off the switch 1, motor 1 and motor 2 still remains off, that is for. It was all about set and reset coils. Thank you for watching.